What's happening everybody? My name is Asasuke and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Today, oh wow, I've actually passed my second file. That's uh, me and my latest co-op run. We are up to a 13th streak and I believe, hold on, let me turn the volume down here a little bit. Kind of killing my ears. Huh? Huh? There we go, there we go. Okay, so we're going to be rocking a hard mode random, trying to get some more unlocks. Let's see who we get. Maggie. She has nothing on hard mode, so that's actually really good. So as long as we don't die in the early floor, we're at least pretty much guaranteed. Wow, a spirit heart this early? That's amazing. Oh, I thought I was really going to take damage from that fly. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we should leave this uh, spirit heart here. We're going to leave the spirit heart here for the expressed intent of carrying it to the next floor. I don't want to have to go into a curse room and lose it or something on this floor. So we're just going to leave it sitting pretty while we do the dirty work on the floor. This is kind of an annoying floor with no damage. Oh my god. <laughs> just don't, don't hit me you little shit. Literally. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy to be playing Maggie as we don't really have too many things unlocked for Maggie right now. We've only gotten her twice I want to say. Number one is perfectly fine. It lowers our range a whole lot, but it gives us a really, really large tier stat. So now we have like zero range, but we have a butt ton of uh, attack speed. I think that's going to up our overall DPS enough for it to be worth it. Because I think it's early enough in the game that we can pretty much bank on getting a few range upgrades. Now this kind of sucks. I could choose between the key and the tinted rock. I think I'm going to go for the tinted rock. So now we know there are two spirit hearts on this floor. So as long as we don't go for retard or anything, we can kind of just guarantee ourselves to deal with the devil on the next floor. As long as we pick those up after we kill the boss. Unless it's like a crazy hard boss like the haunt or... Ooh, that's a... that's not a speed upgrade. I lied. That allows us to walk over spikes on the floor, but sadly it doesn't uh, cover the curse rooms. I think it's still going to be fine. I mean, it's better than having no trinket, I suppose. Chilled all this fire, hoping for a couple pennies. I'm not going to worry myself with boss rush unless it happens naturally. I mean, we can kill our boss since we're here before we explore that last room. Monstro. We all know the deal with Monstro by this point. Three basic attacks. He has his jumping melee attack. He has his jumping tear shot spawning attack. And he has this gross little spit attack there. Pretty simple boss. Pretty easy to beat as long as you, uh... Speed stat is a key thing with Monstro. The lower your speed is, the more dangerous he is. Now, yes, Maggie does technically start out with lower speed than the rest of the characters, but, uh, it's enough to deal with Monstro. A damage up, and a shot speed, so kind of effectively a range upgrade. Not a big one, albeit. It's actually not much at all, but... You know what? Any range upgrade, I think, is going to be worth it. So, I'm going to do this. Oh, wait, we have Callus. Hold on, let me drop this. We have to hold control to drop. Okay, one. Two. This is self-sacrifice room, by the way. Three. Yum heart. Four. Okay, we didn't get anything out of it. But, I mean, I didn't think there was a real loss possibility there. For the fact that we had these two spirit hearts, so it's unlikely we'll die. I'm gonna take a guess. Hold on, let me, let me do a little snoop in here. Okay, so it could be there. It could be there. And it could be here. Well, there's two possible locations. We only have a bomb. What am I looking for? Oh my god. <laughs> so, now we're going down a little low on HP, but I think we're going to be able to stack that up just fine. Our spirit heart situation is looking really good. I want to do that, but I'm a little frightened of it at the moment. I really shouldn't shoot this fire, because th this red fire, just like that, shoots at you. But I mean, it gave us two pennies. It may be worth it. That's kind of nice. A free key drop. And another... This is actually a damage downgrade, but yet another fire... Sh or another shot speed. That bad, 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 Attack speed upgrade. So now, we just need to start stacking up damage. Damage is going to be the name of the game right now. Because our DPS is great. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, our DPS is amazing, actually. Now we need to start stacking up damage. Um, some HP wouldn't hurt my feelings. 
Let's skip some of the poop. Because, I mean, if there is a boss rush chance, I wouldn't mind getting it. I mean, I'm not going to rush myself to try to... Oh, that could have sucked. I'm not going to rush myself to try to get it. I probably shouldn't have picked that up, actually. Because if I don't pick up any hearts, we could unlock Eve. But I still haven't done that. So, I see this Tentagrock. It has me yearning for a bomb possibility. Oh, I didn't even dodge. For some reason, I was like, eh, they wouldn't shoot at me. <laughs> he's a coward. He doesn't have the balls. And then he's like, bitch. As if. So, we broke him now. Every time he breaks down a piece, he actually spits. He spits randomly, and he also spits when you break him down, so. If he's chasing you, um, shot speed downgrade to lower our range a bit more, but we got a shot speed up. I think it's going to be fine. Triple deal with the devil. I think we're going to go just with Dark Bomb for a little added security. Let him pick up all these red hearts to see if he'll drop us some spirit hearts in exchange. I definitely want... I see a lot of bomb opportunities on this floor. Well, I don't think we're going to get to all of them, I wouldn't mind at least getting one of them. Because we have hemorrhaged a bit of uh, spirit heart HP. Mostly my fault, honestly. Poor play. Hoping... Let's tighten that end up before it gets out of control. Um... I mean, I do want this bomb. It kind of ruins our chance for an arcade on the next floor, which is a little scary, because a blood bag from the donation, or not the donation, the blood bank, or maybe an IV bag. Ooh, a free damage upgrade. Both of those would be really nice. A damage upgrade is going to be amazing for us. And we actually got a uh, key at the end of the floor there. I'm not going to trouble myself with this. Yeah, 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 we could get to five cents, and then that five cents could allow us to get a blood bank, and then the blood bank, blah, 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 blah. It could snow out of control in our favor, or it could just cost me an extra minute of um, our time here and give me nothing at all. So luckily we did get a bomb out of the uh, Tented Rock in addition to our Spirit Heart. So as long as we play smart, our deal, our deal with the Devil Chance is pretty high here. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> I want to open it. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Why Why am I dodging into my shots here? Where out thou game, Mr. Krabs? Maybe he'll pay out with something? Not a spider, please? Nice. Okay. That takes care of my, uh... These mola booms can just go to hell forever. <laughs> I don't even want. I don't even want what you're trying to sell me, even at the reasonable price of only one death. So Dark Bomb was happy to sneak up that little red heart that fell out of the poop there. Which I mean, we don't need him. So anytime he wants to take him and convert them, I am perfectly fine. Uh, I don't know if that counts as red heart damage. So I'd rather come back to this after the boss fight. I want to say it does, but I can't be for, uh, certain. And if I'm not certain, I'd much rather have the chance for a deal with the devil than a guaranteed deal with the devil than a chance for a demon judgment to pay out with something. Yeah, both of them could pay out nice or pay out with nothing, but uh, I'd rather hedge my bets on one and then attempt for the other. Oh, this kind of sucks in orange. Actually, this doesn't suck at all because we have cow's feet, so LOL spikes get wrecked. X-ray vision is fantastic. It allows us to see the secret rooms. Both of them. Which is amazing. It's going to save us bombs. And I just ran right into Larry Jr. there. I don't advise... <laughs> I don't advise that. <laughs> I'll be the first one to tell you. That may not have been the best play there. I mean... Eh. Mom's toe now occasionally makes a mom's foot drop down to deal damage to people. Okay, we have to let him gather all the hearts. Then after he gathers all the hearts, then we have to leave the room. Because if he pays out on this room, he pays out with um red hearts. Oh my lord. I'm not going to lie, that was... Uh, pretty much one of the most satisfactory things. Oh, we took damage. But it wasn't red heart damage. So there's still a chance for the deal of the devil. We got one last floor though, so it's a low chance. But hey, we tried to uh, get the best chance possible. I don't really need to tell you about magic much at this point. Amazing item. 
So all stat upgrade gives us every single stat, as you can see. Everything except luck is up one little notch. Which is just freaking amazing. We definitely want to go mess with that judgment a little bit. The uh, demon judgment. Man, these uh, drops. Fantastic. We have no luck upgrades either, so... It's pure luck. We're gonna... Let him have some. Okay, actually that... Good point. Red fire. <laughs> Ow, that kind of sucked. No, evil. Okay, I'm gonna walk out and walk back in for the express con. The express concern of getting him to double payout with every half heart. Because you can actually get two payouts if you run into him. But it's a lot harder if you aren't in a uh, constant run. Not to say it's not possible, but it's just a little bit more work. Well, he didn't pay out there. The world card is okay. Telebills is... <laughs> I mean, it, it wasn't bad, I guess. It could have been bad. It could have gave us a... Uh, could have taken us away from here. Hematomesis is actually amazing. Sorry, Dark Bomb. That's mine. Okay. So. Oh, he's about to pay out. I just ruined that. Let's see. What you gotta give me here? You're gonna pay out. Are you a wizard is terrible? Okay, we're gonna start hemorrhaging spirit hearts. He's a mad man. But I feel like we've pay we've played our we've played him enough. Give us something. <laughs> that wasn't what we wanted, but hey. You know what? He paid out. Oh uh, god, I hate Are you a wizard, so we're just gonna leave. I was gonna just take the time to shoot that poop. We've seen the shop, we've seen the item room. That other place over there probably won't lead to anything too interesting. I was thinking about taking that goat hoof that dropped. I think we are going to try this bomb. Range up is nice. Actually, range up is amazing. And now we know there's a full health pill in the rotation. That's good stuff. Now we kind of... We could make some decisions here. We could go for boss rush with this emperor card. Because we could... Uh, oh, wow. He just ran right into the TNT barrel. He's a madman. Okay. We could go for boss rush with our card. Because this card could just allow us pretty much to... If we can find the item room early enough, we can pretty much skip an entire floor with this card. Because it'll just take us straight to the boss. Oh my god, more free damage and... The, uh... The sin up is nice for more black heart drop chance. It also has a small damage upgrade attached to it. So, our curse rooms have been balling out of control this round. I don't know if I should start giving the seeds out. Like, if you guys want to see the seed here, it's E A Q G B J O 6. <laughs> the blowjob of 06, but let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> that being said, oh. You know what? I'm gonna say no. I mean, we could take it, but I, I'm enjoying what we have. And I don't want to jinx it by messing it up. More keys, wow. So with that seed, you would be able to play this run as we played. And you could see if the different decisions that you made would uh, change the outcome enough to either win or lose the run, depending on how you play and what you do. Since we've gotten a bunch of keys. Five room. That makes us redo the floor. So... I'm pretty sure that makes us redo the floor anyway. So now we have an even more interesting situation. We can pretty much throw boss rush off the table and uh, redo this floor. Here, enjoy this dart bomb. It's all yours, buddy. We could throw boss rush off the table and redo the floor for just extra damage and pretty much extra safety. It, we can guarantee our our run is going to be a win just by doing the floor twice, getting the double deal the devil possibility getting more item drops and all that business. I don't know. We're kind of going to have to see what we get. Now that's incredible. If we get, like, something crazy from this guy that just wins us the game, like Brimstone or Mom's Knife or something, we probably don't need to do it. Or we can probably go for Boss Rush. Let's see what we got. Krampus fight. And the Lump of Coal is amazing, too. I think we're gonna do it. Uh, I mean, we could go for boss rush. Uh, I 
Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna try for boss rush, which means that we are gonna be rushing. So, we're gonna be trying to find... Let's see, if this is useful, nope. I mean, it, actually, that is incredible. The three red chests could be amazing. So what we're doing is we're going to run as fast as possible, trying to find the important rooms. And by important rooms, I'm looking for the item room. I'm looking for the shop, if applicable, which it is not currently. But it could be it sometime in the future. I'm going to check the curse room. Open this, open this. Place a bomb. Ooh, range upgrade is nice. Health down sucks, but it wasn't really a problem. And I think we're just going to emperor out of here. Now we need to kill this boss as fast as possible, but we need to not hemorrhage HP. The most important thing, now that we've committed to it, is we have to get a boss rush. We've committed to it. And with that being said... Ow, he's paid out with a damn... Ugh. Dark bum paid out with a spider. So I'm gonna take a quick peek outside, and we're gonna go rush. Now there's a double... Both of the secret rooms here. Ah, oh, it's gonna slow us down a little bit. Hematomis is great. Full health is great. Our U are just terrible. Luck down is even worse. So, I guess Hematomis is one of these. No. Are you wizard? No. No. Which one was I wanting? There we go. Full HP we'll take with us. Okay. Sneak in here. Let's see. I don't see an item room anywhere close. Cause that's that's what we're looking for. We want the item room real quick since we have the keys. So I'm going to do my damnedest to find it in record timing. Here's the shop that only has a greed fight. That kind of sucks. Steam cell is nice if we can actually make use of it. Ah, oh, I really want this item room, but we're hemorrhaging minutes here. Okay, so this is... I think we're gonna go one more room down and check, and if it's not there, I think we're just gonna leave and try to haul ass to boss rush. Ah, oh, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say we weren't gonna look for it, but I feel like if we don't leave now, there's almost zero chance of boss rush happening. So yeah, we're giving up our item room. I don't like it. Actually, I hate it. It could be any item in there that could win us the game. But I think if we can get this boss rush out of the way, at least it will pretty much guarantee that we won't have to do it again on Maggie unless we're strong enough to do it and want the item. Ah, oh, he turned around. Super greed too? What a dick. Kinda sucks that that guy turned around and gave us a little bit of free damage. Or made us take a little bit of free damage. He didn't give us anything that we wanted. Giving sounds so nice, but actually it's just like... Oh my god. Alright, we're hemorrhaging HP. But I think I could complete boss rush on about any HP as long as our damage stays this good. That's amazing. That pretty much guarantees this for free. And it ended up not being worth it. But I think it was worth a shot. Only because our curse rooms have been so nice for us. If our, if our curse rooms up to this point had been paying out shittily, I think we would not have done that. Now, the only reason I'm so confident about going into boss rush and pretty much thinking I'm not going to lose no matter what is, well, this helps. <laughs> so if we kill ourselves, we can become Judas, which sadly would take away from the point of doing it as Maggie, but at the same point in time, we'd gain a massive damage upgrade. Man, that's not what we want, but I think I'm going to check it anyway. Ah, more pills, hematomesis. Tears up is good. Range up is good. So we got a lot of range here. There's a health down and a full health. We'll take the full health. I think it was worth it. Dark Bomb got a full HP. He didn't pay out with anything. Let's check here since we did get that. Um, Hive Mind's going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. We need a new space for our item. Now that I'm like taking a minute to sit here and realize. Oh, we're running out of time. Where are we? Wait, I think we're fighting Mom. I think we're, we made it. Unless I'm wrong, and then I'm going to be kind of sad. That was supposed to hit both of them, but I misplaced it. In my over-rushing attempts, honestly. So if we do end up losing this run, we'll know it's completely our own demise. that, Or our complete own lack of attentiveness in these floors that has caused our loss. So here's Mom. Looks like we are going to be able to get boss rush done. 
<laughs> as I was saying before, I forgot completely what I was talking about. Is the reason I feel so confident in um, doing this boss rush is a, a lot of red hearts drop during boss rush, and our dark bomb is going to be able to take advantage of that. And hopefully, that is a terrible deal with the devil. Hopefully, pay out with a. Uh... So there's three dollar bill, which makes us shoot ra random tears each room, which I think we're going to take because I rather like it. D10 is terrible. Midas touch is good. And I think this is Equilibrium. So we're going to take Rainbow Tears. And I'm, I'm pretty confident on this boss rush. The only thing that's going to wane my confidence some is if we don't kill this butthole right here really fast. Carrion Queen. Make her eat the bomb. Okay, well she didn't actually lay any red poop, so that's perfectly fine. We haven't had any HP payout yet, so we haven't had our Dark Bomb action kick in. But the very second we get some HP payouts, our Dark Bomb is going to go crazy. Now Rotten Baby is spitting out some uh, flies for us, which are powered up by BFF that we got for 7 cents, I believe? Yeah, because we had Steam Cell. So damn good. So they're dealing extra damage. We should probably take care of Blastasis first, as he is the more dangerous enemy. Not that bad, though. Now there's gonna be bomb flies every Wow, where did how did Loki die? <laughs> I'm not even mad. Well actually I am a little mad because I'm confused mostly. But don't judge a man because he's confused. I actually really don't know how Loki died. That kinda concerns me. Maybe he's hiding in the shadows waiting for his time to strike. But it wouldn't have spawned other bosses if he was. So there's a little bit of red heart HP. Which is pretty nice. Our Dark Bomb's gonna want a nom on that. And he paid out the Spirit Heart, too. Monster taken care of. Now we just gotta punch Chad in the deck a little bit. Now, one thing to not forget is no matter how much HP we lose here, as long as we complete Boss Rush, we do get a uh, secondary item at the very end. Of course, it could be any item in the universe, so it could be amazing, it could be terrible, but. I'm hedging my bets here. I have a really good feeling. Monstro 2 is what we need to be fighting. Oh, that kind of... That was a little scary. Monstro 2 takes priority over Gish. For the simple fact that Gish is a much more simple enemy. And uh, they're both equally tanky, honestly. But Gish has a lot less moves that can just wreck your day. Because Monster 2 can shoot the giant laser beam across the entire map. Well, Gish has to at least be close to you. So we have Pin and the Widow here. Wow. I don't even know it killed them. I think, um... What I'm almost certain it is, actually. Is we have... We have Tough Love, which allows us to shoot out that tear. Oh, the bloat is actually a really scary enemy. Why did he die over there? Or is it these flies that are just so, like, demonstrably stronger than my tears? It's not even funny. Or maybe, like, our lump of coal damage is just out of... Actually, it looks like it is our lump of coal damage. So the further away we are from an enemy, we're going to be dealing extra damage to them. A lot of boss rush comes down to priority over anything. If you prioritize correctly, now we're start. Now it's a little scary because we're starting to take red heart damage. We do have the yum heart to mitigate some of that. But as I was saying, a lot of boss rush comes down to priorities. If you get your priorities straight, you can generally do boss rush even with a low amount of damage. You just want to take out the most dangerous enemies first. So right here, I know that as long as I leave the fallen in his full state. He won't be able to do too much except chase me and occasionally shoot out some shots, which I should be able to avoid pretty easily, thanks to all the rocks. If I had split him up earlier though, he would have been a much more tough enemy. Oh, hi. Should be the last guy right here. Maggie's bow's been unlocked, that's nice. And Dead Onion, Toxic Aura Tears. So now our tears pierce, have more damage, well, that was incredible. Now, now it's pure survival mode. No more fancy plays or anything. We've got what we came to do. We got the boss rush out of the way. And now we're just trying to survive. We also have piercing tears with it. 
they uh, they're also spectral. So this was actually one of the best things we could have hoped for to drop. It's hard to see that creep, but we have to wait for it to dissipate. Luck down? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not what we were asking for, but uh, better luck next time. Ah, oh, damn. Oh my god, double damage. Get off me! So as lame as it's gonna be, and I know we have amnesia on this floor, I'm gonna go back here and grab this battery. And I think that's a tentadrock. Not the luck down, you dingus. The battery! I think this is a tentadrock. With the X on it? Oh yeah. Breaking all the rules. <laughs> I could scan this, and I think I'm going to real quick, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm just going to do a quick look. I don't think I see any. Triple red chest, I think, is going to be worth it. Deal with the devil for Guppy's hairball. We have zero Guppy precedent. Right? Let's, let's, let me make sure real quick. What are we getting our times one? We're getting that by Juice of Shadow. Yeah. We don't have any Guppy items, so I can't really in good conscience take this. I'm gonna look at these. Look down, hematomesis. We'll just leave. We didn't have to fight that room either, so that was pretty convenient. Gotta say, it's it's coming along pretty well. We haven't really run into anything that's tested us yet. Boss rush was a little scary, but mostly from that from poor dodging. In the womb, there's no shop or item room, so it's pretty much just. A long haul to the boss room. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, there's an invisible guy. Fair enough. We'll go thank him for his key donation. We're getting a quite quite a few consumables, but so late in the game that the odds of us needing them are a lot lower than they were earlier. Where where is he going? Quit that! Get over here! <laughs> I don't know why that guy was so happy. What kind of tears are these? Interesting. That guy was so happy with putting himself away from us just so we could murder him. Nice payout from Dark Bum there. Kind of just uh helping us reel in the win here as long as we don't do anything too foolish. Now we've gone far enough to unlock It Lives, so we have the choice between the Cathedral. Oh my god, here's another massive payout for Dark Bomb. Oh no! I forgot, if you don't lead him to the hearts, he won't get them. Okay, he picked them all up, let's see what he pays out with. Just in case he pays out with a spider or something. It's a friendly spider though. Max HP, another tears upgrade. Incredible. So if we weren't already, I'm not going to say guaranteed the win, because there's always the chance we fuck up, but if we weren't pretty much feeling good about this, we should be now. We already know what this deal with the devil is, sadly, and $3 bill is the thing that's giving us the different tier effects. This was completely worthless pretty much, but even if we got a deal with the devil there, we knew what it was, we didn't want it, it was the, guppy hairs, the guppy's hairball. I probably would have taken it though, just because it would clear up a little bit of HP room and we could pick up the spirit heart instead of the uh, red heart. But I mean, at the time when we saw it, it was a completely different situation, so I don't feel too bad about it. We're on the mighty quest to go find Mom at the, at the moment. I mean, we could go do the blood bank, but it could just lead to more problems than it's worth. Can we, oh yeah, Dark Bomb actually went over there, over the rocks to get that. Sadly, once more we don't need the payout. Oh, Death's Touch, baby. This is an item I wish we were actually in possession of. What's this? Hematomesis. It's pretty good, actually, but full health is just so much more useful right now. I'm like 90% sure if we really want to, we could get that uh, blood bank to pay out now. I'm just going to get most of these enemies' faces. The complete disrespect. More tears up? Okay. 
And here's the mom fight. I accidentally used my yum heart, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, damage. <laughs> Isaac! You don't know me, you're not my real mom! Oh wait, you are kind of my real mom. So we got the cute baby unlocked. Now we have the choice to go down to Shoal or the Cathedral. And I think we're going to go down to Shoal for the simple fact, I know you guys are probably so sick of Shoal, but we're going to be going to Cathedral primarily later on in the game. After we unlock the Polaroid and the negative, 90% of the time we're going to be going to the Cathedral. I don't think Peeper's Eye is worth the uh, fight there. So that kind of sucked. We still have the full health pill though, so I'm not really that scared. We could take pretty much all of our HP, and as long as we were getting some... A few lucky payouts here and there, I don't even think I'd be worried. Because just as I was about to get scared, Dark Bomb kind of just says, Hey man, it's fine, you know. As long as you keep giving me donations, I will keep showing you everything you need to know. Oh, we have fire mine in this room. With all our luck upgrades, it just causes more and more explosions. So we gotta go find Satan. Wow, we have triple shot. If we get a good, if we get a really good tier effect on our Satan room, proptosis on this one, it's just gonna be instantly GG. It's pretty much all already GG now, but if we were to get a really good tier effect on our room, it would be double GG. GG! This room is actually scary if you don't have very good damage. Because Cage is an extremely tanky enemy, which just shows how good our damage is, of course. And, uh... Now that was... <laughs> I've never seen that room, but that those bomb flies actually frightened me a little bit. But yeah, the Cage room is always scary. Because he bounces around, and you try to dodge, and you end up walking on spikes, and... Kind of being your own worst enemy. So, it's not like the Cage is the one killing you. He's attempting to kill you, but you're killing yourself on all these spikes and what have you. Let's go murder the boss. So we wait till 5 and then we drop a bomb, so the bomb flies. We'll die the second they spawned. Now we got fire mine here, so there's going to be a couple explosions here and there. Not the best tier effect, but it's pretty damn good. And I don't think we're going to actually try to dodge too much. I mean, we're not going to purposely get hit, but... Let's see, drop a bomb, wait for his hoof. Good damage from on the hoof. Sadly, oh, he's dead. <laughs> I was about to say, sadly, the explosions from fire mine are doing damage to us. No, he's dead. I love this ending music. Guardian's Angel. The negative? Oh, nice! We unlock the negative. So now we can actually go fight Satan himself, or the Lamb, aka. That's gonna do it for the run today. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, uh, comment down there in the section below, subscribe, check out the other stuff on my channel. Got some Nuclear Throne and Darkest Dungeon series up that are looking really good, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you guys!